Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. So in our previous uh, penetration testing of prospective improvised body armor materials, uh, we found that OSB or wafer board uh, was virtually worthless for stopping bullets. We found that 20 gauge sheet metal kind of worked if you used enough sheets of it. And then when we tested the uh, urethane foam with the cement plaster coating, we found that while that material itself is not, a, not practical for ballistic applications because it just takes too much thickness to stop anything, it seemed to indicate that alternating layers of different materials might have certain advantages for armor applications. So today, I want to take these two materials that we tested separately before and put them together. Uh, you know, we'll set up four alternating layers of sheet metal and wafer board and see if they do better together than they did separately. And as usual, I'm going to start out by shooting it with a 9mm. Uh, this, I think, is a good representative handgun caliber, at least of sort of the lower half of the power spectrum of handgun cartridges out there. All right, well, we've got a clear entrance hole and there's sort of a crack in the OSB on the back, but it doesn't look like the bullet exited. Uh, so I think it's probably still in there, but before I take the stack apart, why don't we go ahead and shoot it with the 44 Magnum and see what that does. Well, the results are kind of surprising. Uh, not surprisingly, both rounds cleanly penetrated the first layer. However, <clears throat> the 44 Magnum round mushroomed as it's supposed to, it's a hollow point bullet, and actually stopped shortly after penetrating the second layer of steel. Um, so you can see the, the 44 Magnum round is you know made a big dent in the second layer, but it's actually captured in the second layer. Whereas the nine millimeter, which was a full metal jacket round, continued to penetrate cleanly through the second layer. In the third layer, now we see a big dent from the 44, but no penetration, and we see a hole where the nine millimeter went through the metal into the wood and is just barely poking out the back. So this seems to be a type of armor, if we dare to call it that, that is very sensitive to the type of bullets used. Uh, it's actually remarkably good at stopping bullets that are designed to mushroom, like the 44 Magnum hollow point, not so much at stopping bullets that are not designed to mushroom, like the 40, uh, excuse me, like the full metal jacket uh, nine millimeter round. Now these results are particularly interesting when we compare them to what happened when we just tested the sheet metal. Recall the wafer board by itself really didn't stop anything. Uh, the sheet metal by itself required four layers to stop a nine millimeter and five layers to stop a 44 Magnum. When we add the wafer board in between the layers of sheet metal, now it only takes two layers to stop a 44 Magnum, but it still takes four to stop a 9mm. Kind of an interesting result. You know, just to see what happens, let's put it back together and shoot it with the 223, shall we? 
Okay, for some reason the camera stopped recording and did not record the first shot with the 223 bullet went right through, but we'll go ahead and shoot another hole in it so you get to see it. Okay, so there's our two entrance holes of the 223. There's our gaping exit holes of the 223. Obviously, this material is not any good at stopping rifle rounds. So in conclusion, it seems like these alternating layers of sheet metal and wafer board are remarkably effective specifically at stopping hollow point rounds. But as a general purpose improvised armor material, I think it would be hard to argue that this is really any more effective than the sheet metal by itself. So, uh, once again though, I thought we got some really interesting results from this test, and until next time, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.